How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're gonna go over step-by-step step how to install the Brother QL1110 NWB thermal label printer on a Windows computer. I've had this printer well over a year and I installed it on my Windows computer way back when and for whatever reason I didn't make a tutorial on it. It must have been a very easy auto install process where I didn't think I needed to make a tutorial but since then, Windows has updated and I think they did something with printing. I read some articles saying that printing was kind of messed up and I think that might have had an effect on the installation of this printer because when I went to go print the other day, it didn't work. I kept getting errors and it just wasn't working. So I completely uninstalled the printer and then reinstalled it and now the process is a little different. It might be a little bit complicated for some people so I figured this tutorial is warranted to throw out there on the internet to help some people that are gonna be frustrated and wanna throw their printer out the window and hit a neighbor. So that's kind of what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I do have an index in the description, kind of like breaking down different parts of the video to save you some time if need be. And with that being said, let's get into the printer and on with the tutorial. So here we have the printer. We're going to get it ready for installation and we do that by opening up these tabs, putting in the labels. Your printer probably came with a small roll of starter labels. The way that they go in is the foot goes on this side and touches these pins right here. This arm kind of sets into a notch and you take the roll and you have to put it under this sensor. If you don't go under this sensor, it's going to give you error when you try to print. So you go under that sensor, push it through a little bit, and then close the top. Now you're going to take your power cord, plug it into the back, and then plug this side into the wall. You can then power your printer on. Now we're gonna take this USB cord and plug it into the back of the printer. We're gonna be using this strictly to program the printer with our Wi-Fi settings. And you'll see that once we get on the computer. Um, once you have everything set up like that, you can plug this into the computer and now I'll see you guys on the computer. Okay, so here we are on the Windows computer. I'm gonna go down here to the finder and type in printer and go to printers and scanners. And whenever I plug the printer back in, it tries to reinstall it again. So I'm just going to remove that. If you had the printer previously installed and are having problems with it, then that is how you uninstall the printer. You may or may not have to do that. And then you're gonna go into the description of the video, click on the link that says the brother driver. Then it's gonna bring you to this page. Your operating system of your computer is going to be recognized and then you're going to hit okay. And then you're gonna go down here to printer driver. You're going to click on that. It's going to bring you to this page with an end user license agreement. And then you're gonna hit okay. It's going to download this file, 31 megabytes. You're going to click on that EXE. And then it's gonna pop up with, you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device. It comes up a black in the screen recorder for some reason. And then you're going to hit yes. And it's going to extract some files and run you through this installation. Select your model, QL1110 NWB. We're gonna hit okay. So here is your connection type. We're gonna go wireless. You can do it with just USB if you want. You can do it with a wired network if you want, Bluetooth, but the flexibility and the awesomeness of this printer comes in the wireless capability. So we're going to install it via wireless. It's gonna help us program the printer to get it onto our wireless network. So we're gonna hit next. And this pops up detecting existing wireless network settings. So I don't know if it's pulling this from my computer or if it's like an old wireless setting from the printer, but if your correct network pops up here, you can go to yes, but I'm gonna go to no and then click next. The USB cable is used, the process is simplified. Yes, we're using USB cable. I'm gonna hit next. Okay, so it's asking me to plug the printer into the computer. I already did that. I'm gonna actually unplug it and plug it back in and see if that allows me to click next. And there it goes. It, it automatically continued. Now it's searching for wireless networks. And it's bringing me back to this. And I'm gonna say, no, I wanna connect to a different wireless network. And there we go. We have all of the SSIDs that are being picked up. Broccoli, hot girl Wi-Fi, all of 
the okay so it's actually not even picking up my eight foot ceilings here so i will go back if your network is here you could select it and go next and then you're gonna have to type in your password so i'm gonna go back and i guess that it's pulling the ssid from my computer maybe it knows my computer connects to these networks so i'm going to just hit next Okay, now it says to disconnect the USB cable between my computer and my device, so I'm gonna unplug it, and then I'm going to hit next. It took a while, but this popped up. Choose the brother machine you want to install. I'm going to click this. This is the 1110 NWB on this IP address. I'm going to hit next. It never asked me for a password for my Wi-Fi. I wonder if it just took it from my computer because my computer already knew it. It's very possible. Okay, a newer version of ES status monitors already installed. Okay, it says installation is complete. Your printer may take a few minutes to detect it and ready to use. We can go back down here, type in printers and scanners again, and then look for brother QL. Okay, so it installed two drivers. One is a USB and it looks like one is a wireless network. So if my wireless network was out for some reason, I could still print via USB. And this should be the wireless network driver. So before we even print a sample label, I wanna show you a couple of things. I'm gonna click on that printer, go to manage, go to printing preferences, and it comes up with where you change all the settings for the printer if you want it to auto cut at the end of a print. If you want to cut every one labels, I really don't like it cutting. So I'm just gonna say cut at the end. So if I print multiple labels, it'll cut it. And then here, paper size, this is very important. The starter labels that it comes with is the 4.07 by 6.4. However, if you've bought replacement labels, third-party labels off Amazon, you're gonna have to change this to four by six, which if I scroll up, it should be right there. So I have, already used up my starter labels. I am using four by six. So I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna hit apply and then okay. That's how you get to your printer settings. Now the printer is unplugged. This is actually just my microphone. I'm gonna go to a sample label. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. Click on that, open this up. I'm gonna click this print icon up here and then make sure the destination is picked. See more. Brother QL1110 NWB. I'm going to click on that. And you're going to want to make sure your paper size is 4x6 if you're using the 4x6 or if you're using the 4.07 by 6.4. Make sure that those match. It has to match whatever's in the printer. Otherwise, you're going to get this really annoying red blinking light. Then you're going to hit print. It's going to send the signal to the printer. And just like that, we printed our label. Now, before we go, I do want to point you to another video on YouTube. I encourage everybody to watch this video. It goes through like where the settings are for the popular platforms. It's going to save you some headache and some troubleshooting because platforms don't come natively in four by six. They usually come in eight and a half by 11 because that's the kind of printers most people have. But that is the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have any questions about the brother QL1110 NWB, let me know about them in the comment section and I'll talk to you in the next video.